We start our team coverage tonight with the controversial vote on whether to dissolve the Pritchard Water Board. Local 15's Madupe Idowu and Derek Rose are each with either side of this ongoing fight. Right now, the votes are neck and neck at 50% of the votes right now. Derek, some folks are hoping this vote will shut down the Pritchard Water Board for good. That is what they are hoping, Kim. Uh, we are camped out here, if you uh, will, at the Yes Camp, the folks who are voting to have the Pritchard Water Board dissolved. And I just checked some updated numbers uh, that 13,000 votes have been counted and are in favor of dissolving the Pritchard Water Board compared to about 11,000 who are against dissolving the Pritchard Water Board. Here um, at the camp where Representative Napoleon Bracey has been, uh, some of the first numbers, uh, there was a slim lead. Uh, then the next round of numbers, there was a slim uh, margin where you guys were not ahead. And then as the numbers have come in a little bit uh, more this evening, we've seen the margin grow. How has the feeling been for you uh, this evening? I've uh, been very, very optimistic. Um, I'm hoping that the, the later precincts come in is kind of from this area, and, and hopefully the margin will grow even more. I was watching an interview by one of your colleagues, State uh, Senator Vivian Figures, and she complimented you and the teamwork you all have put together uh, on this issue. Why has it been so important for leaders at the state level to push this issue, issue here in Pritchard? Well, for many years, I'm 36 years old, and we've had this problem for about 30 years. And for many years, the city and the water board has ignored the citizens of Pritchard and Chickasaw. And now, for the first time, you have a member of the House of Representatives and a member of the Senate working together to push a citizen-driven initiative. Um, I just want to say thank you to Senator Figures uh, for her leadership and her effort in this. I want to also say thank you to the United Concerned Citizens of Pritchard under the leadership of uh, Ms. Averia Campbell-Morris. This was definitely a citizen-driven issue and we just want the citizens to have the right to vote on this issue and they had that right today and hopefully uh, we'll come out on top and the Pritchard Water Board will be dissolved. And you guys have a growing margin right now. Another question I wanted to ask you, even with, regardless of which way this vote goes, there's still an issue that you are concerned about and that is the recently uh, uh, approved contract extension with the Pritchard Water Board and Severn Trent. What is your, what is your concern there? Well. That just shows one of the main reasons why this board needs to be dissolved. Um, less than 11 days ago, they approved this contract somewhere around $35 million, and they actually signed this document. I'm here as of yesterday. We still haven't had an opportunity to see this document, but they still signed it one day before the citizens had the right to vote. That's the kind of reason why we need to dissolve this board. Those are the kind of things we need to get away from. That's the type of bondage that has continued to plague this city and the city of Chickasaw for many years. And I think it needs to stop and it stops right now.